So today I'm going to look at this E-Flight Habu. Uh, it's supposed to be a um, beginner um, EDF jet RC plane and it does actually come with a, a complete kit uh, RTF. So you actually have the, the airplane. You get this rather nice uh, TX also. Uh, there is an included charger, uh, a smart 4000 uh, 3S um, uh, battery. Uh, I believe uh, when I bought this one at least, it did actually also come with a dongle and a simulator, a, a, a kind of a, a simple version of real flight. Uh, so you actually can then practice on your computer before you fly it. Um, but I've flown this one uh, uh, quite a few times uh, and uh, I've flown this both on 3S and on 4S. So let's uh, show how the this one flies on a 3S battery first. Today on the runway is the E-Flight Habu. So this is supposed to be a beginner EDF, so let's get it up. That was a really bumpy takeoff. So as I've seen in other videos, this um, Habu uh, is actually a great gliding RC plane. So let's, let's gain some altitude, so we can go into some aerobatics soon. A really slow roll. So I'm running this on a three cell uh, 4000 milliamp battery, the included battery. It's a nice and controlled but not fast loop. It actually has to go full stick. Really nice tight turn. The rows are just, you know, ridiculously slow actually. The loops are okay. And then again the rolls are just kind of sloppy really. I suppose if I run it on 4S it will be snappier. It's a really, it's a really hard doors to have playing this. It's a slow EDF, which is, I don't know, usually EDF are, EDFs are kind of fast, but this one just, oddly enough, really slow, regardless of what I'm doing. So I can understand why this is a beginner EDF because it just flies so darn slow. I mean, this is slower than many of my um, prop-driven RC airplanes. Now we have the uh, ESC alarm, so this one is actually equipped with the smart ESC. So this smart EC is really giving me a hard time with all these warnings. I'm not really afraid that this one will just, you know, go down because it glides so nice. So I just actually keep on pushing it. It's really odd because the, the turns are so sharp and, and it still, it flies so slow. <laughs> 
really strange playing this habu. Okay, so just let the the battery regain some strength then. And when you really let go of the throttle, it just glides and flies super slow, even without flaps. So this is just no throttle. It's gliding. Maybe I have to adjust the ESC alarm level. This is just a little bit ridiculous, really, with all these alarms. So my timer is just telling me that the five minutes is up. And all the EC just keep on beeping. <laughs> it's uh, hilarious, really. So I'm going, that, going about 50% throttle right here. I don't need to actually increase it that much, so maybe 75. And here I do 100% when I do the loop. It's actually quite nice because even if I have a really low throttle when I enter the aerobatic move, uh, it does actually push through. So even the loop does actually push through on the uphill part. So there's no throttle. I'm just increasing it uh, just before the turn. Let's do a slow flyby. And a little bit of a high alpha. And let's get it down then. Oh, I'm not trying. It's a little bit touchy, this elevator. So I want to land from uh, left to right because I know I have a pretty vast space on my right side. So let's uh, just flare and get it down then. Nice! So this, um, this ground is really bumpy and um, <laughs> it's kind of funny when it bumps around on the runway and the takeoff is just super hilarious also. And this yeah, smart EC alarm, so it's kind of funny, really. But it, it flies kind of nice in a, in a really odd way, this one. As you can see, I mean, a 3S 4000 milliamp flight battery does actually work, and, and I think uh, if you're a beginner, I think you will be kind of happy with the, the flight performance. It's, it's slow, so you have time to think. Um, but I also think that uh, this one really needs 4S for it to, to be able to do uh, aerobatics in, in a better manner. Um, I also think that um, I would like some more speed. Uh, so let's, let's go out to a new location and do a 4S flight on this one. Today I have the Habu to run on 4S and I'm at this nice looking soccer field. I have a really nice sky today uh, and I'm all by myself in my habu. Uh, there's a bit of wind uh, but I think I will do okay so let's um, get this one in the air then. I'm 
I'm running this on a 4S Smart uh, 2200 milliamp battery, so it's a little bit on the light side. Does really uh, nice straight rolls this one. Tight loops also. So I think it's actually fun to run in, in such a confined space as this. So I'm just pushing the um, throttle when I'm doing the move just to preserve some power. And then still on 4S, it's not the super uh, most <laughs> agile RC plane and, uh, or EDF for, for that matter. Uh, and then we have the <laughs> telemetry battery warning. So I can compare this one to my F15 Eagle and I think the F15 Eagle is uh, it's a much more fun plane to fly. This one is, is actually a little bit too tame for my taste. But it's a beginner RC plane and it's much better on 4S than on 3S. On 3S it's just super lame but here I can actually push through these loops and rows without problems. I think it does have a kind of a cool noise from the uh, uh, EDF also. And it does glide really nice. So it's always interesting to land on a new location. And this is a rather narrow soccer field, so let's just reduce some altitude and And most certain you can glide and just push the throttle when you have some increased speed so it does fly ridiculously slow this one and now a nice glide slope so yeah it was a nice landing from this habu so i mean the 4s is much much better than, than the 3s it's actually a must to make this one good what do I think about this E-Flight Habu then? Well, first of all, I think it's, it's a, uh, if you really want to uh, get into EDF or jet uh, RC planes, uh, I think this is one option at least. Uh, it's really easy to assemble because the main wing is actually held by uh, only four screws so, uh, uh, underneath. And um, uh, it's actually, there's actually a quick connector uh, on the wing. So when you attach this one, there are no cables to attach, uh, which is really nice for the main wing. And then you actually have the, the rear part. So this, this part uh, uses a few screws to mount this one. Um, and of course you have to attach this uh, linkage on the side. Uh, the, the rear exhaust plastic piece uh, is held by a few tape pieces. Um, of course you have to uh, attach the landing gears, so these are really simple. The design is the same as the E-Flight uh, Trojan 1.1, so it's a, uh, it's a simple design. Then you have the, uh, the nose wheel. Uh, turn this one around, uh, which is actually what you do is this uh, uh, whole part with the plate and the wheel, um, you actually screw this one in and connect the servo. So there's actually a separate servo for the nose wheel, and there's actually a servo for the, for the rudder also. So uh, just having a look inside, first off you have this kind of nice uh, uh, cockpit um, canopy with pilot inside. And inside then you have a really roomy space. So what I do, I put the battery all the way forward. Uh, in this one, there are actually straps to hold the battery. Uh, and this one also uses the uh, IC3 connector. So it does feature uh, smart telemetry, for instance. Um, and it does also feature the full safe, so you actually have three flight modes. The beginner, the expert, and then kind of a middle ground mode. 
Uh, so certainly, I mean, any beginner uh, should be able to fly this one pretty easy. I think it might not be the the best first RC plane to to purchase, uh, but I think <clears throat> if you learn to fly one uh, and orientate in the sky, I most certainly think that this one could be number two. Um, but as I experienced, when you fly with the included 4000 milliamp battery on 3S, uh, it's, it's really tame um, and it just to get a sense for how this one operates. Uh, I would actually never consider to, to run it on 3S again. So for me it's only 4S and I did the flight on a 4S 2200 milliamp battery which is on the small side of course. Put the, the battery all the way forward and it was kind of balanced anyway. But I suppose uh, if you really want to have a long flight time, it's better to get something like the 3200 milliamp battery. But the 2200 um, certainly does work and you have this, this tone as you heard uh, from the uh, TX uh, telemetry warning when the battery level drops. So it's a really nice feature just to be sure that okay, well it's just a short beep, then I keep on can keep on flying. But if I am like a you know 75% throttle and it keeps beeping, I have a better land. So speaking about landings, uh, this one is quite interesting. First of all, well, because it, it glides so so long, so um, and it flies so slow also. So when I was in this um, kind of a soccer field, I can actually just uh, fly within with a with a uh, EDF uh, RC plane, which is kind of amazing, really. Uh, but you somehow you have to have to be a little bit careful uh, when you land this one to have a, a really nice glide slope. Because if you uh, actually have a steep, too steep angle, it will bounce, and with the potential that you might um, uh, damage the nose wheel somehow. But overall, I think it's a it's a it's a rather good EDF. I'm not too fond about the design of this one. I think uh, I have the uh, E Flight F15 Eagle, and I really dig the F15 Eagle. I think it's a super nice warbird, a modern warbird. Uh, but this one, um, uh, it's not uh, the best looking actually, uh, and I th I, to me at least, I think the F-15 Eagle, it's much more fun to fly. Uh, it looks uh, nicer when it flies, uh, uh, but this one on the other hand, uh, due to the, thanks to the, uh, the stripes underneath and the larger size, I think this is much easier to orientate in the sky. Uh, so I mean, that's my thoughts about this um, E-Flight Haboo.